All right, everyone, welcome back. We are going to take a quick look, a quick update for Caspa here. So Caspa still holding support at the 4-8 level here. Um, so we're just going to keep it real simple here on Caspa. Uh, we still may get this little squiggly line play here to play out at some point. We're going to move that out of the way. So until you break below 4-8 and come down to 4-5 to um, come down here and test that uptrend, there is a chance, you know, that Caspa is going to try to break through our red box here. If Caspa can get over 518, then it will have a shot at retesting the resistance at the top here at 5.4. That is almost a 7% move. And if we can get through that, our first stop would be about 5.7. That is about a 14% move. And then six pennies on Caspa for about a 19% move here, 18.5%, 19% move. If we can break through this red box here. Uh, if not, we may end up doing something like this to where we're going to pull back, come back down to the uptrend, down to your 382045, and then we'll try to go back and break that high here. Uh, one of the other reasons that I think that we may get a pullback to that 382045 is we showed you this last time. If we simply draw a little micro fib on the chart here from that low to that high right above that red box, you can see the 618 retracement takes you right to that 382 F45. So off of that little micro fib from the low to the high 382 retrace or 618 retracement rather down to that larger 382. And then we can continue our journey to the upside on Caspa. So with that said, now financial advice. Thanks for watching everyone. Peace out.